Hello, once again, this is Oakley, and we've got another great game for you today. And I'm Mike Blaze. And our players are Callisto and Burn the Witch. Burn but, the Witch, the blue Zerg in the top right corner. And, and Callisto, Callisto, the red Protoss. In the top left. Wishing now, to... uh, relative unknowns in the, well, StarCraft scene in general, but uh, two Ottawa area players whose games we'll be casting today. Starting off with a good good luck, have fun. It's nice to see some good team team sport effort out there. Now these two players uh, do know that they live both in the Ottawa area. Crystal Beach, not entirely sure where that is. Orleans, out east. So I've heard. I've only ever heard of New Orleans, Oakley. That's no. Nice try, though. Right on C-Mang? What's C-Mang? Callisto, Callisto sent it out a pretty early scout here in the game. Pylon, though. Nothing really but that. 10-10. Building his first pylon a little far from base. Well, that's actually... I'd say that's fairly common on a map like this. You want to uh, wall off this lower ramp right away, and then you can expand to your natural expansion whenever you want. It's much easier to defend against things like early zerglings, which normally, without a wall off, would just run right into your base. Makes a lot of sense. Now, Callisto has already scouted this bottom right, uh, looking to see if his opponent was cross spawns, but since he isn't, he sends the probe up to the top right here. Yeah, and now he's gonna, gonna get a good run around of Burn the Witch's base. While he's doing that, Callisto's already thrown up his second get gateway, and that's uh, about 75% finished at this point. Already Callisto got a probe mining. Burn the Witch's uh, spawning pool. That's already started, so we won't be seeing any Zerglings for at least a minute or two. Oh, does throw down the pylon and burn the witch's natural expansion. That's going to block burn the witch's um, expansion, at least until, well, he can clean that up with some zerglings or drones. But like I said, zerglings not going to be out anytime soon. Throwing up a cybernetics core right now. Just got that assimilator out. So hopefully going to throw some probes on there pretty quickly. And yep, there they go. Moving them off the mineral line and chrono boosting the ones out of the nexus to get them back there. Wall off not quite complete, still um, a little bit of room, but like I said, no Zerglings out yet. Two on the way, so not in any real trouble at the moment. Burn the Witch has an Overlord over that pylon, but hasn't done anything about it yet. <laughs> Definitely knows about it, can't do a whole <laughs> lot at the moment. And there's the finish gateway for the wall off, leaving just enough of a path to, uh, to bottleneck any Zerglings that are going to come through. Still allows movement in oh, and out of the, the base. Drone does, oh, the, dr the drone hanging out in the gap there. Oh, and the Zerglings are going to knock down that pylon. Loss of, what, about 100 minerals, but uh, blocking Burn the Witch's expansion, probably worth it. Chrono boosting that uh, gateway tech out there right now, and Burn the Witch is going to add a Nexus into Callisto's natural expand. The Zealot just came out, though, and it looks like the Zealot's going to try and take care of that. The probe also uh, doing his part to block that little hole. Oh yeah, getting out another Zealot to take that place, knock down that Hatcher even faster. Hopefully Burn the Witch will just cancel that before it actually gets knocked down to lose those minerals. And yeah, throws down his, his actual Hatchery in his natural expansion now that that pylon has been taken care of. Callisto throwing out the second gas now. Uh, that's going to be finished up in a second. And going straight to Robo. Already? Oh. Fairly yeah. early robo, I would say. Fairly early robo from Callisto. Uh, gateway tech isn't quite finished yet at this point. Just chrono boosting that as well as the uh, as well as his initial gateway. Try and push that sentry out pretty quickly. Yeah, those uh, those three zealots in a sentry should give him pretty good defense against any sort of early pressure. But burn the witch, taking his time, just getting expansions, lots of drones. Oh, does uh that. Hatchery does get scouted by that probe. He'll know that it's not quite done yet. Are is oh, are they going to get the probe? I don't think they're going to. Running the probe out oh, of it. Oh, and he's down. Cool. Callisto didn't see the second queen that's in there right now either. Yeah, that should hopefully be injecting larva on that second hatchery soon. Actually, wow, Burn the Witch throwing down the uh, a third hatch. Callisto's moving in with his uh, 
to the watchtower with his four zealots and his two sentries. Uh, I think he's going to just sit there for a second and watch that tower while he hopefully mm -hmm. pumps up a few more units. His warp gate tech is done now at this point. He's got his robo sitting fairly idle, just waiting for resources at this point. Yep, that that uh, second nexus on the way along with another pylon. Does uh, Callisto not knowing about this third expansion from Burn the Witch? He needs to scout that or else... Yeah, Burn the Witch can have a major advantage, being able to throw out more drones, more zerglings, more everything, actually. And Callisto throwing out a pretty far out pylon, hopefully to warp some units in a lot closer to uh, to Burn the Witch's main. He'll actually be able to, uh, yeah, warp them in on the right side of that map, over that little canyon. Robotics facility is finally pumping out an observer real quick to hopefully get some detection into his base. And two more gateways going up as well. Oh, it looks like he's yeah gearing up for some sort of push. Maybe get a few warpins and then push with these uh, sentries and zealots. Yeah, moving that probe back to main base now. Burn the Witch has gotten two spine crawlers, a bunch of zerglings, two queens. Uh, yeah, he's gonna gonna need a little bit more to hold off this push, or he might be in a bit of trouble. Oh, another queen. I oh, know queens are pretty good. Callisto's move to take the Watchtower, an excellent move on his part as well. A lot of new pay, new players underestimate the Watchtowers, but it's going to allow him to not only watch for Burn the Witch's rushes, but also to defend that pylon as he's warping things in. That Observer at the ramp now sees everything, sees the Zerglings, the spine crawlers, the Queens. Callisto now knows exactly what it's going to be up against. That Observer does get a scout of the whole base, sees the Roach Warren, See speed is researching. That third expansion, getting spine crawlers, getting more drones. And still no Bert, queen though. Or Callisto still not scouting that third expansion. Oh, from is the witch. Getting those final warpins of zealots seems to be. Oh, I think he's going for it. Yeah, it looks like the push is going to happen now. Moving in a lot of sentries. Oh, now on creep, going to be going up the ramp, and... Oh, force fields are, well, yeah, lots, lots of those roaches in the back there, but they can still hit those zealots. Queen does get picked off, two queens, I think. It does look like he's investing pretty heavily into that early rush, because he's still only got the one robo, and with only four warp gates, he's not going to have a lot ready to go. Oh, the immortal is there, though. That'll do massive damage to those roaches. <laughs> force fields... Not quite perfect, does let the roaches get away. Warping in a second round of zealots, and he needs to force field if he's got any left right now, or those uh, those zealots are going to get taken out fairly quickly. Burn the witch, though, starting to uh, pull away in supply. That third hatch, not many drones, but as soon as he gets a queen out there, yep, the queen is on the way. That is, yeah, that is that lead is only going to get wider. Callisto has a little bit of a surplus of uh, minerals going on right now. And, uh, oh... Throwing down a robotics bay now. Looks like uh, maybe going Colossi at this point. Yeah, that's that's what that would look like. That um, that Overlord still just hanging out in Callisto's base. It still has not been picked off. Just just warped in dual assimilators on that natural expansion as well. Yep, yeah, looks like you're getting some gas, getting some upgrades. Small engagement up the front. These roaches. Yeah, they're gonna they're just gonna clean that up. I think. That's just yeah. That is not a good position for Callisto to be in. Those Force field is not, not doing too well, locking down some of those roaches, but there, there are just too many. Not microing the zealots especially well. Had them in the back there kind of idle for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yep, more roaches heading And yeah, those, ro base. those roaches are going to wipe that, uh, wipe that push out. Warping in a few stalkers now, though. Hopefully get a little bit of range into his game other than the sentries. I think that that's really what Benclista has been missing so far. He's got, you know, Sentries, zealots, but nothing that can you know really do damage to those uh those roaches besides a, a cl besides a besides the lone immortal, yeah. Immortal, um, that's it. The the wandery guy with the cannons. And he's got that robotics bay now, but again that uh, robotics facility not pushing out any units right now. Um, and oh, getting double forges can be going into some upgrades. Pushing out a fifth gateway as well. Even with those, he does need to warp in. Or at least start building a few more units because he does have a fairly large supply right now. Still, oh, it's going. Overlord on. finally going to get picked off. It does go down with those uh, four stalkers. Burn the witch getting his last little bit of info. 
still pumping larva into that third expansion as well. It looks like that third expand is purely for uh, minerals at this point. Not doing a whole lot with the larva, except for producing roaches, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of players, uh, if they're going to do some sort of two base play, will get a third hatchery not even to use for mining at all, purely for larva. Uh, this though, Callisto hasn't yet scared at it, so it can it can do double duty here pretty easily. Does have those student stu uh, two spine fallers for protection, but I don't think he's going to need them. Oh, even a fourth hatchery goes down. And Callisto throwing out his third nexus now as well, uh, fairly close to his proxy pylon. It's going to be interesting to watch what he does with uh, with warping in his unit because there is that top expansion that you can take if you take out the rocks. And putting a pylon on the far right side of that will allow you to throw units into their base. Yeah, that could definitely come in handy right now. He's warped in a few more zealots, two more sentries, and he is he is heading south. Finally, some more stalkers. Um, yeah, moving the stalkers south with the zealots as well. Does have that overseer there? Could um. Overseer, Observer, we'll be able to pick off that creep and those tumors. Oh, and now he knows that something fishy is going. Yeah, it looks like uh, looks like he may he may see the creep for the third expansion. Those roaches, not oh, fourth field not quite good enough to keep them out. They're wow, that is that is a terrible position for Callisto, putting in amongst the drones. That hatchery actually preventing him from getting from those zealots from getting right into the fight. They get picked off super quickly by those roaches. <laughs> Those zealots decide this is not a fight they want to take. They head off home. High five the Colossus as he comes in. <laughs> Says hello to those roaches and yeah. Third hatchery uh, being pushed right now. Got pushed with some sentries in the zealots, but uh, the roach is just completely decimating all the stalkers that were there. Oh, zealots are now running back. Yeah, Callisto losing track of that Colossus. It does get picked off by those roaches. Even, yeah, warps in some stalkers and just sends them right home. He knows, yeah, he can't do much to that uh, that massive roach force. Yeah, look at that difference in supply. Burn the witch at 152 of 152, actually supply blocked. Oh, there he goes. Callisto at 78 of 100. He, yeah, he needs to start chrono, chrono boosting out probes, getting more stalkers. Just, yeah, yeah he needs to get his production up. Burn the witch is probably going to push with those roaches fairly quickly, Oakley. Yeah, I think he, he's in a really great position. He's, yep. Yeah. Getting Zerg Missile Attack 1, Ground Carapace. Getting some uh, Corruptors. Now that he's seen that Colossus, he knows they're an option. Wants to be able to take those down super quickly before they can uh, do a lot of damage to those Roaches. Really a good example of how leaving your buildings idle early in game can uh, can actually put you at a fair disadvantage because Callisto had that advantage with the uh, offensive units at the beginning of the game and completely reversed now on him. Mm -hmm. Another Mortal coming out to join the... Yeah. No, uh, no sentries in that force. All zealots and stalkers. Seems Burn like the hasn't had a whole lot of uh, luck with those force fields so far. Burn the witch's supply now at two hundred, allowing him to push in oh, a few yeah, more units. He is pushing out immediately. Taking that fourth expansion as well. It, whole right side of the map oh. now spawns, and the roaches yeah. are on zealots the move. Zealots warped into that force. They're going to pick off those roaches that have just spawned. Get that queen, maybe even pick off the hatchery. Fairly large force of roaches coming in from Burn the Witch, moving towards his uh, natural expansion. And gonna cross paths with this little group of stalkers and zealots. Oh, and there's the good game from Callisto. He just, yeah, he could not deal with the uh, economy of Burn the Witch getting up so early with that fourth and third. All right, well, that's, that's it for us, guys. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time.